finally guys my Shein order has arrived I've been waiting for this for a couple weeks now because I have oh look like this little Bon Natale sweater sorry Jen this is gonna trigger Jen <laughs> because she wanted it and it's all sold out oh my gosh we had a mix up because I wasn't sure if she was gonna order it for herself or if I should get it for her and Jen did not end up getting this how cute is this case guys I believe it was only four dollars look I have a little reindeer on the top how cute is he I actually love it and it's funny because this Merry Christmas is backwards and I was thinking this might be a glitch but maybe it's for if you do any mirror selfies you can actually see the Merry Christmas the right way. Who knows? <laughs> but it's still so adorable. I just love this little reindeer. Ta-da! Oh, I got him a little case for his AirPods Pro. How cute is that, guys? It's like a protective little case and it's Christmassy too. Do you like it? I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that. It's And you can, yeah, you charge it with the case already on top, so yeah. that's actually great. Merry Christmas! Love you! <laughs> good morning, love you. Oh, Have yeah. a good day. <laughs> Guys, this was little Luna. She was looking at this. Oh my god, she's still so interested in my phone case. What is that? It's a little toy? <laughs> you wanted to see so badly. There you go. You're so curious, Luna. She's such a curious little girl. Here, smell. <laughs> you shouldn't lick it. Look how cute. Look how cute, little reindeer bum. Yeah. <laughs> the real morning routine. Number one, feeding my sourdough starter. I'm a little bit late, so I have to feed this little guy. And number two, it's making Nikita some oatmeal. I always make him oatmeal from scratch, so I add my own honey in it, so I know exactly how much is going in there. So it's really just hot water, oatmeal, honey. Um, I put usually some flax seeds, some sunflower seeds, and then some nuts. He has cashews on top. There's a little bit of a natural peanut butter because he loves that, and then I'll usually put some fruit. So today he's having peaches and of course cinnamon. Cinnamon is really good for you especially if you have problems with cholesterol and things like that so yeah fresh oatmeal for Nikita. Aw a little lovely kinder egg how festive. Oh Jules Lisa. is making me nervous. <laughs> Where is number eight? There we go. Ready? One, One two. two, three. <gasps> Torrentino. Oh, Torrentino. Okay, my second favorite. Oh, yeah. what's your first? Bianca. What is it called? Oh, you like the white one? Biancoretti. Yeah, because it tastes like almonds. It's Torrentino. so delicious. Torrentino. This one tastes like Torrani, though. This is delicious. Mm, I'm actually really happy. Finally, something exciting. Guys, I hope you enjoy watching us open advent calendars because this is one of my favorite parts of the day. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number eight. Wait, now you would Aha. Chocolates favoris. Whoa! Ooh, maple oh. whiskey. Whoa. Wow! Milk chocolate ganache made with that. maple whiskey from Quebec. Look at mine compared to Julia's. Wow! Very sad. Maple whiskey. Where did it go? I Let's wonder. Very fudgy. Mm -hmm. Interessante. So guys, I finally showered. I haven't blow dried my hair yet. You can probably see it's much shorter. My hair just blow dries naturally straight. I just have pin straight hair. But I'm in Julia's bedroom. I like me. Don't mind my dirty bathroom. I'm in Julia's bedroom, and as you guys can see, her bedroom looks very similar to mine. We are, after all, twins yeah. at heart, aren't we? Uh, Jules is finally in my vlog because I feel like every mm -hmm. time that I'm filming, she's never ready, so she I'm never wants to be in it. Ready because I filmed an eyeshadow tutorial. Ooh, it actually looks gorgeous. And I think I'm going to film Lisa's Christmas Q and A. Yeah, do it. Woo! I don't know if you can hear, but Julia's recording a video in the background, so I can't be too loud, but I just tried on this coat that I got from Shein. I think this was honestly like $12 in their super sale section, which is incredible for a coat. It's not going to be warm enough for a winter coat, but I think it's actually pretty cute. I didn't really get much in the Shein sale. The pants that I got are a little bit too big for me. I think I accidentally ordered a size too big, and the sweater's really cute though. The Buen Natale sweater, but they don't have it online right now, so there's not really a point in showing it to you guys yet, but I will definitely be wearing it all Christmas long. But this color is actually pretty cute. It's like half black, half nude with the same kind of sleeves. So it's interesting. I truly got it because it was on sale. Otherwise, I don't need another coat, but I think it's actually kind of cute. We're waiting for Jen right now because I think we're going to go stretch our legs, as my dad says. <laughs> yeah, she just legs. called me. We were laughing about that phrase because he would always just say that. Oh, Luna got to do the video too. He would always say, kids, let's go stretch our legs. That just means like run some errands. Just get out of the house pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, that's what... Pre-COVID, me and Jules would always run errands with my dad. We'd always yeah, hang out with my like dad all buddy. the time. He was, so we're actually quite sad. Normally, you'd see him in our vlogs a lot. Yeah. And now, just for safety reasons, we hardly see our dad. And if 
we do, we always have a mask on, so it sucks, but... We miss you, Dad. We miss you, Dad. Hopefully you're watching my videos. And mine. Love you. <laughs> That's so cute. Love you. Love you too, baby. Aww. And I just want to ask you guys, what is your favorite thing to do before Christmas? Do you guys have any like little traditions or things that you like to do pre-Christmas? Because it used to be for me going to a Christmas market. And as I said in like my Christmas holiday tag video, my favorite thing now is opening advent calendars. So I hope you guys actually enjoy me doing that, but it just, it gives such a build up towards Christmas because I look forward to doing it all month of December. Even if I'm not even necessarily that much in the mood for chocolate at the exact moment, I just love opening it up and finding something inside. I think that's why I also love to order things online, like my little mini Shein order. It's just so fun because by the time it actually comes, you almost forget what you bought and then you kind of get to like unwrap something. It's like a little gift to yourself. So I think that doing an advent calendar is probably one of my favorite things that's like pre-Christmas leading up to Christmas to make me feel super festive. That's probably why I also watch Christmas movies all month long just to get myself in the mood and the Christmas spirit. So if you guys have any fun traditions or things, let me know down below because maybe I would like to copy your ideas and give them a try. I just, I honestly love Christmas so much and I love feeling super festive this time of year. So what, Jen, did you have to say? Jen had some oh, yes. very intense pearls of wisdom. I did, I said I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a peppermint mocha right now. And I don't know, but I never used to like mint chocolate things. And now lately, I don't know if it's uh, in my 30s. <laughs> I was about to say in my old age, but I'm not. I'm a spring chicken still. Uh, <laughs> in my 30s, I've developed a sort of a, an acquired taste for peppermint mochas. Like I'm loving them. That's this funny. is like, I get them half sweet with oat milk. And they're delicious. Yum. I've been a YouTuber. Yeah, I know. I said uh, out of all of us, Jen would have been probably the best YouTuber because she's the most committed to things, you know? So. You know what? It's the teacher in me. I yeah. feel like I love these cute, creative little things. Probably. But so do you guys. You yeah, guys are no, way more for sure. We're me. just a little more like, I don't know, procrastinating, I guess, than you. But yeah. So we're doing a little fun errand today. We're hopefully gonna hit up a good home sense. I love home sense, guys. What else is new? You know, it's the weekly. Yeah. It's our weekly run. Daniel's like, don't spend any money. <laughs> I don't need to spend money. Hopefully, I'm just gonna do mall cardio, guys. We'll see. I know. How cute is this tiny little mug, guys? This is so my life in a nutshell. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay. We're doing a little drive through, guys. We're surprising a friend. <laughs> Anna, you got some donuts coming. When I went to get my Starbucks this morning and pay for my coffee, they told me, the barista told me, oh, your coffee's been taken care of by two, oh. the person or like two yeah, cars yeah, yeah. behind you or That's something. That's so sweet. So I said, wow, what a random act of kindness made my day and I said I have to pay it forward. So Annalisa, coming for you, girl. <laughs> so on top of getting Anna something, Jen just paid for the guy's meal I behind her. I just paid her. a quarter, quarter, a quarter pounder meal. meal. 13 bucks. Oh, that's better, so cute. Better. Anna, these donuts are coming for you, girl. A little assorted pack of Mickey D's donuts. And you know what? I think they're fresh. <laughs> I should be getting you guys a pack. Georgie, hi, Georgie. Sanitize her hands, don't worry. Yes. Don't worry. This is my best friend of like how many years? At least 15 years. Yeah, at least 15. <laughs> at least 15. I was like, how old are yeah, you? Or maybe. I also picked up a panettone. They didn't have many selections, but this Tre Maria is a very classic one. You can almost find this at any grocery store. And at least it's made in Italy. So eating his poke bowl, we love this. Why is he eating his poke bowl, guys? Because I was gone all day. <laughs> and nobody cooked a dinner for him. <laughs> but look what I got you, babe. <laughs> How cute is that? I love this. And you can move his hand so it looks like he's doing the little fours, you know? <laughs> That's your desk, buddy. Grogu. Oh yeah, Grogu. Welcome. He's known as Baby Yoda, guys. I don't know if I like Grogu. the name Grogu. Do you guys like it? Do, you, do any of you watch The Mandalorian? I think he totally looks like a Grogu. For him? <gasps> Who's that? It's a Grogu. It's a Grogu and Grolu. <laughs> 
Oh, you guys are meeting for the first time. You guys are meeting for the first time. He's a baby Yoda. Luna, <laughs> don't bite their fingers. Don't bite your fingers. You gotta be nice to the baby. He's a good little baby. He's a good little Grogu. You see? You see? Guys, and for myself, I got myself this little mini collectible one. He was just too cute to resist. I don't think I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna save this in the box because I think it will be a collector's, yeah. So, he's so cute, I love him. I also bought these little nougats coated with dark chocolate, which is also known as torrone. This is one of my favorite things, the soft torrone. I love it so much. So I'm going to put this out in front of the house because the chocolate there is mysteriously gone. So festive are all these chocolates at the front of the house. I love having chocolates when you walk in. I think it's so cute. And there's me, super tired from the mall. <laughs> me and Jules got matching nutcracker mugs from Winners because they're so cute. Or should I say home sense? And only $5.99? I'm obsessed with this. I love this and I love this shape because oh. I already have that Hogwarts one that's this shape, but oh my gosh, oh my this God, is divine. I just love anything divine. nutcracker. Yeah, anything nutcracker and we're suckers for that. Which speaking of which, I'll show you what else we bought. Jules and I bought these nutcracker plates. I saw them and I was like, okay, Jules, we have to go half season on these because there's oh so gosh. many and all we really need are six each when we eventually Part wins. <laughs> That's so sad. So I know. But this is just such a cute collection. There are these mini dessert nutcracker plates. And I'm always saying how we don't have enough small, cutesy Christmas plates. So at Home Sense, these were on sale. I always get them for Luna. They're $4 on sale, which is great. I usually get her the small one, but these large ones were on sale. And I'm going to give her one right now, guys. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Okay. There you go. Look, it's bigger than her. <laughs> go. She's just going to want to hide this, guys. She's really just excited to go and hide this. See? It's already in process. I pick you up? Okay. Ready? Voila! Good girl! And lastly, one of the last little add-on items I bought was this Sephora foundation. And as you can see, guys, the price is $5.99. They say comparable at $12, but it is really comparable at, I think, like $26, $22 to $26. Canadian and this is so good guys. I already have I think honest honestly like no exaggeration I think I already have six to eight of these oh my in my drawer <laughs> because they are amazing And if the color is too light, I use them as my under eye and if it's dark I just mix them, but this is fantastic and I actually think that finally I found the right color for me I think this 29 is a really good color for me So and guys, I'm actually wearing this today because I have so many in my room and it's so fantastic. It's lasted me all day and a little bit goes a long way because it's so thick and so full coverage. You really don't need a lot. So if you can find this, get it. I don't think they have them on Sephora anymore, which is probably why they're just pumping them out at every HomeSense or Winners or Marshalls, whatever you guys shop at. So if you see them, definitely pick them up. They're full coverage and they're fantastic. Loves it. Are you wearing it today too? <laughs> yeah, I am. And oh. I honestly love it so much. I'm just sad because I I don't know if it's discontinued. I think it Sephora. is. That's why they're here. That's why I keep getting them. You <laughs> think so I'm good. nuts, but like what, six dollars every now and then and I'm I'm stocked for life. They do foundation. have <laughs> other foundations at Sephora, of course. Yeah. So maybe they just like reformulated a bit or Probably. they might have changed something, but honestly, that price. $5.99 Canadian. Yeah, it cannot be beat. What did I tell you guys? It was way too big for her. And she has so much more fun, honestly, hiding them than she does, or maybe just as much fun. Oh, <laughs> She's, she saw that I mocked her, so now she's hiding it somewhere else. You little sneak. Guys, do you know the struggle of trying to take these stickers off this mug? I'm like, why couldn't they have just put this on the bottom of the mug? This is one of those stickers. Sometimes they come off easy, but look at this. Like, it's what am crazy. I gonna do? Be it's here crazy. for two hours? <laughs> it's crazy. Julia's crazy too. I think I'm losing it. Yeah, I think we've had enough mall yeah, therapy for a long time. Okay, and guys, last but not least, truly the last thing, I bought this advent calendar. I don't know why I bought it, but it was just so cute. And clearly it was on sale because we're into like the ninth day of Christmas tomorrow, but look how adorable this is. I love it so much. And this was only $3 at the grocery store, so I couldn't resist. And every day you get two kisses to share so I bought this so that Jules and I can have it. These are what is going to be inside. There's the milk chocolate hugged by white cream, the my favorite cookies and cream. Mm. And then there is hot cocoa, which sounds so cute. And then there's whole almonds. Actually, that's probably my favorite. I love it. And then there's just the milk chocolate. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Hershey's chocolate, but these little kisses when they're flavored actually taste so good. So I'm so excited for this advent calendar. So guys, we will be opening one more tomorrow. And just to be extra festive, let's just do today's date. I just got home. 
Oh my god, didn't I just say my favorite is the cookies and cream? <gasps> Yay! How delicious is that, guys? The cookies and cream bar is probably one of my favorite ways to enjoy white chocolate, so day number eight is delicious. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sister vlog. This ended up being a fun sister day last minute. It was really cute to just get out, do a little shopping, some sister errands. Mostly, I personally like to get house stuff lately, so that's what I've been buying. I hope you guys enjoyed. So if you do enjoy these vlogs and you're enjoying Vlogmas, please give these videos a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'll have Vlogmas pretty much every day, and if it's not every day, I will combine them. And on top of Vlogmas, I am gonna be having regular content as well so please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out i'm just gonna be cuddling with little patoot because she's cuddling me she missed me she's saying my mom is finally home yes i'm home baby say bye loony bye <laughs> bye thank you for watching i made him say bye too <laughs> took a break from the playstation